Hello and welcome to my channel. Welcome to Word to the People. Today's word comes from John chapter 6 verse 6 verses John chapter 6 verses 41 through 50. Oh my goodness, I'm messing this up. I want to start over y'all. John chapter 6 verses 47 through 51 and it is entitled The Bread from Heaven. I have affectionately renamed it, I believe. I believe. Many of us may have believed in one thing or another during our lifetime. As children, we may have believed in Santa Claus, you know, the big guy with the beard and the reindeer. Our imaginations carried us to the top of the roof where we swear we could hear Santa and the reindeer dropping off toys and presents to us. Sometimes our parents would assure us that they could hear Santa too, only to laugh at us when we went to sleep and talk about all the money that they spent buying us presents and toys. Yet, some of us may have never believed in anything. We need to see it to believe it and to touch it to know it's there. There's no convincing us that God is real because of what we see happening all around us. And eventually, eventually, we may lose hope. As we read the text in John chapter 6, verses 47 to 51, we learn that Jesus is speaking to the people about believing in order to have eternal life. He tells the people that he is the bread of life and that the manna that the manna that their ancestors ate in the wilderness didn't help them to stay alive. Jesus further explains that he is the living bread that came down from heaven and that whoever eats of this bread will, will live forever. Jesus concludes by saying that the bread he will give for the life of the world is his flesh. Let me repeat that. Jesus concludes by saying that the bread that he will give for the life of the world is his flesh. So what does all of this mean for us? Well, I'm so very glad you asked. It could mean that believing in Jesus Christ is our hope for a better tomorrow. Although we cannot see or touch God, God can see and touch us by opening our eyes and reviving our hope in the promise of eternal life. And because Jesus lives, we have already received the bread from heaven. Well, that's all I have for you guys today. And remember, keep our country and our leaders in prayer. Um, pray for your neighbors, your loved ones, love your family and love, you know, like just, it's, it's gonna, it's rough. So just remember to love and pray. Okay, guys, until we meet again, stay safe, love your families, and thank you for tuning in. Bye-bye.